When light injected into the fiber at a specific incident angle, total internal reflection occurs between the fiber core and cladding. When the fiber core diameter is small, only one type of light mode will be propagated at a time, that is single mode fiber. While multi-mode means the fiber can propagate multiple modes. Single mode fiber core diameter is much smaller than multi-mode fiber. Its typical core diameter is 8.5 m or 9.5 m. And the commonly used single mode fiber wavelength is 1310 nanometers and 1550 nanometers. Multimode fiber core diameter is 50 m and 62.5 m typically, and it works at the 850 nanometers and 1300 nanometers wavelength. The cladding diameter of single mode and multimode fiber is 125 m. The difference between the two cables is the diameter. Multimode fiber bandwidth is limited by its light mode, while single mode fiber bandwidth is unlimited theoretically because it allows only one light mode to pass through at a time. Multimode fiber optic has a core that exceeds the cutoff wavelength of the light pulse, resulting in modal dispersion. Thus, you're most likely to find multimode cables in short distance transmission, for example, data center. Single mode fiber has a core that is physically sized to carry a single wavelength of light, nearly eliminating the modal dispersion and scattering effect. Generally, single mode cables should be used over long distances, greater than 5 kilometers, whereas multimode cables should be used over short distances, less than 2 kilometers. Due to the large core size of multimode fiber, some low cost light sources like LEDs, light emitting diodes, and vexels, vertical cavity surface emitting lasers, are used in multimode fiber cables. While the single mode fiber often uses a laser or laser diodes to produce light injected into the cable.